Okay, this is our quiz for the lottery simulation. All right, and so I just wanted to open up an Excel spreadsheet. You're more than welcome to use OpenOffice or Google Docs spreadsheet, uh, but the functions will be a little bit different, be pretty similar. So the first thing I want to do is start my first run. <clears throat> so I'm going to have first run of my lottery, and to do that, I need it to generate a random number. So the function is equals rand. Uh, between so if you look it's the second function here and I'm just hitting tab and then when you do this it actually tells you what you're supposed to do so you need your bottom number that's zero and your top number is nine and then we close the parentheses and hit enter alright and so this gives us a random number between zero and nine to simulate the first run and we want to have 20 values so I'm going to paste this down to uh, 21 <clears throat> because uh, I filled up the first square so there's my first 20 values and now basically what I want to do is I'm just gonna make that just a little bit narrower so I have enough room I want to know what the rarest number is right now as you can see as I keep hitting enter all these numbers change so I'm gonna leave this rarest number blank for just a minute okay um, and actually, you know what, so I can have it just a little bit smaller. I'm going to do rarest number like that. All right? And you can see they changed again. right? So now what I need to do is I'm going to make this column just a little bit narrower so that everything will fit. Okay, And then I'm going to do my second run. <clears throat> All right. Now, again, the nice thing is you can just copy that random between, paste it down here, and go paste. And so this is excellent. So you got that. And then uh, I'm going to narrow this up again just for fun. And then I'm going to have uh, now we already picked our rarest number. Okay. So I have these random numbers. Okay. I picked a rarest number. Now I want to know how many times I won. So number of wins. And then, of course, maybe my um, percentage uh, of wins is a good thing to have in here too. And then the last thing that I need is my new rarest number. New rare number. Okay. Now again, these are all changing each time. Okay. Now I want my third run. Okay. So I'm just going to set up my third run and then I'm going to stop. Okay. It's just so you can uh, see what's going on now you need to run at least five runs all right so here's my third run I'm gonna copy this and paste it over here so this is my first 20 values where I'm gonna collect my first rarest number I'm gonna compare that to this one and pick my second winning number and then I'm gonna have my my third right here okay <coughs> So the idea is uh, there's a one. Let's see. There's a two, bunch of threes. There's a four, five, six, seven, no eights. So my rarest number is eight. Now, now see they change, but I gotta at some point I have to fix this, right? So now I look and I go down and I go, oh look, I won one time. There's one eight there. So the number of wins that I have was 1, and that percentage of wins is going to be equals 1 divided by 20. There were 20 options there, times 100, so it gives me a percentage, right? So the number of times that it won, out of 20, uh, times 100. Okay? And so that's only about 5%. So that doesn't seem like it was a great way of picking a number, right? So now I'm going to go and pick my new rare number, and look, I've got zero, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, there are no sevens, right? So I'm going to put seven in, okay, and now I'm going to look for sevens over uh, here. Now let's copy this, copy, <clears throat> paste that over here. And so if I'm looking for seven, I've got one, two, three sevens. All right, so that's three sevens there. And for this one, um, I'm going to come over here. Oh, you can't see that. 
uh, I'm going to put equals, right, 3 divided by 20 times 100, and hit enter, and then I'm going to calculate my new rare uh, number, right, and so I'm looking, I've got a 0, I've got a 1, 2, no 3's, right, so I'm going to put 3 in and go from there. Now, these numbers are going to change each time, um, but basically what I want to do is I just want to see the random numbers. You picked your rarest. I want to see another set of random numbers. Count how many wins, the percentage of wins and stuff. Now, as I look at this, in the first run, I only had 5% win, okay? So that's less than the 10% we would expect if you just randomly picked a number. 15% is above the 10%. All right, so we did a little bit better um, this time. So you're going to do two more trials and see how it, how it works, okay? And this is how you can set up uh, a random simulation for um, the lottery. But just realize that these numbers are going to change each time unless you, like maybe over here, uh, put all of the numbers in and then delete the random column. That would be, that would be the only way to, to fix that. So if you wanted to keep the numbers from changing afterwards, what I would do is I would hit 1, right? Well, and then I guess you have to hit 9, right? And then 3, and kind of go like this um, as it goes through, okay? Um, so that these numbers will never change. And then you just delete this row, right? Select it, hit delete, and then you want to shift the... Um, entire column, oh, shift the shells left, right? So it's the very first one. And now uh, those guys are, are right there. So that would be one way um, of doing it, all right? Thank you for watching the lottery simulation. Don't forget to write your paper. <clears throat> Don't forget to write up a one-page paper um, explaining your results.